I'm Rhonda Jenkins and I'm in Naperville, Illinois and district, we have two school districts here. I'm in the 204 <laughs> district and I'm gonna to talk to you about Moat and then also Crafty Text, but Moat first. Moat is an easy way on any of the Google apps to leave messages audio messages for students to explain that what you want them to do. I use it at the beginning of the year when I first had my introduction to my students. I wanted them to tell me all about themselves, but I spoke it into a moat and then they had to click it to hear my instructions because you know sometimes you really don't know everyone's level of their reading and their understanding of instruction. So when you speak it clearly, they are they're able to hear it. Uh, I, it, it can also be used inside of Gmail. Google Classrooms, all of them, even in forms, and they can also give back responses in um, using Moat as well. Um, as a future librarian, I can leave messages, like I said already, students can listen, and English language learners can translate my messages. Actually, it's through Moat that I can actually speak a message, edit that message, change it into several languages so that they can actually see the translation and then share it with that student. We have a student here right now from Ukraine who speaks very minimal amount of English. So for her to be able to translate it to, to her language makes it perfect for her to be able to understand better. Um, it's very easy to use. You do have to install it. I do have the extension down there at the bottom. You can click to install Moat. There is a free version, which is limited, of course. And then there is a paid version, um, depending on the uh, features that you want. Uh, it's four dollars and ninety five cents for the one that I did purchase it because that's just what I do. You know, we spend all of our money all the time, um, but it's only four ninety five a month for it's paid for by the year. So I just went ahead and used it because I will use it quite frequently. Um, you can also if you know another language automatically, you can also speak it for a student and share that with the student so that they can understand. If, if Shannon, you would click on the. The speaker. And then you can hear my my message in another language. Is it playing? It's not, but that's okay. So I speak Mandarin, and so I spoke a Mandarin as if several students that are also limited in their English with uh, Mandarin so I can speak to them individually and leave a message as well so they can understand. Uh, it's a great extension. The kids, like I said, they can re leave messages for you as well. They do have to install that uh, extension, and I'm hoping that everybody gets a chance to do that.